Hey guys, it's Mr. Chu, and here's what you're going to learn today. By the end of this video, you should be able to factor an expression. We're asked to write the following expression in an equivalent form. We have x squared plus 12x plus 32. Now the coefficients of our terms are 1, 12, and 32. I'm going to label them in this order as a, b, and c. I'm labeling the coefficients, so a is 1, b is 12, and c is 32. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to factor this expression. We're going to write it in another way by factoring. To start, the first thing we want to do is multiply our a and c terms together. So in this case, we have 1 times 32, which gives us 32. Now we want to figure out what two numbers multiply to get to this value that add up to your b term. So in this case, 12. We can list out all of the factors of 32 in pairs. So 1 and 32. We have 2 and 16. We have 4 and 8. And that's it. Now, which of these three pairs adds up to 12? Well, 1 plus 32 is 33, so we can't use that one. 2 plus 16 adds up to 18, so we can't use that. 4 plus 8 gives us 12. So we're going to use these two values when we're rewriting our expression. We have x squared plus 12x plus 32. We'll keep x squared, but here's where we start rewriting. Instead of 12x, we're going to use the 4 and 8 to rewrite 12x. We're actually going to say 12x is equal to 4x plus 8x. And then we'll have our c term at the end, which is 32. What we want to do now is look at the left two terms and the right two terms. We'll focus on the left first. What do x squared and 4x have in common? We can factor out an x from each of these terms. If we factor out an x, we have x plus 4. Now, let's focus on the right two terms. What do 8x and 32 have in common? Well, they're both divisible by 8. Now if we factor out an 8, we're left with x plus 4. Now check this out. We have an x plus 4 and an x plus 4. Both these terms have an x plus 4 in common. So similar to what we did previously, we're going to factor out an x plus 4. So if we factor out an x plus 4, all that's going to be left is x plus 8. And that is what's going to fill in our other set of parentheses. And that's it.